Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day's going well. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we are playing with pattern paper. This is um, part of my DSP paper play series and this is card number seven. I'm using a retro sketch. Been loving these sketches. This is retro sketch number, retro sketches number nine. And if you guys wanna see more inspiration with this sketch, um, I'll leave the retro sketch blog link on my blog. That way you guys can check out more inspiration using this sketch here. I'm using an old paper pad from Basic Grade. This one here is called uh, Tea Garden. It's a well-loved paper pad you can see here. And you can see I also like to store my paper pads in my little quart Ziploc baggies. I just trim off the top and slide them in so all my pieces stay intact here. I'm going to grab three. I have a yellow, a gray, and then also a teal colored. They're all two-tone. And then I'm also going to bring in a strip of white cardstock um, to create a border with. Now we're going to die cut out some flowers and I'm going to be using a die set from Newton Snook Designs. Um, love this set. This set is available um, and it's called the Flower Trio die set. Um, if you're new to my channel and or new to the DSP paper, paper play series, you'll know that um, I do want to let you know that um, most of the things that I use during this series are very outdated, guys, so I can't link them. Um, but most of the, the things that I do use, you probably already have. Um, and for example, the pattern paper, it doesn't have to be exact. You could use a two-tone yellow, a two-tone gray, and a two-tone teal, and I think you'll get the same effect. Okay, I'm going to create a border. I'm using a MFT stitched scalloped edges die set. I'm using the smallest one in, in here. Um, if I can find this, sometimes I buy things on re um, the MFT retirement sale. They have great sales, and so this might have been one of them. Um, but if I can find it, I'll link it. And that goes with all the products that I use today. But I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine, and we're going to die cut out a border and some flowers. Um, one of the flowers has stitch detail, the other one doesn't. Um, the one that doesn't, we're going to die cut out again using that two-tone teal piece. So two of the flowers will be the same and then one of them won't. I'm going to go ahead and just use my craft pick and punch this little flower out and then we can tape it down to our teal cardstock and then we'll go ahead and run this one through as well. But I love playing with pattern paper. I don't do it very often because there's so many good, there's so much goodness out there. It's like crafters overload. Um, and sometimes when my pattern paper gets neglected sitting on the shelf. And so this is a great way for me to use what I have, use what's in my stash and play with the pattern paper. So these are my flowers. We are gonna adorn the flowers with some very old brads, <laughs> but I thought these colors went perfectly with the pattern papers that I'm gonna be using. Um, one of them has a teal colored, and then the other one is um, has like a flower print, and then one of them is a rosy red color. Now, what you'll notice that my flowers are all about the same size. When, when they are the same size, what I like to do to kind of bring your eye into like a full circle is um, create different flower centers. So one of my brads are larger than the other. Um, I think if you were to have three of the same flowers with three of the same uh, centers, it kind of um, flows, your eyes don't kind of catch to it. I don't know how to explain it, but I have one larger brad than the other and I'm just poking a hole in the center of my flowers and adding them, making sure the prongs behind there are behind the petals. After we have our brads adhered, we are gonna go ahead and add um, some foam squares behind each one of our flowers. Basically, we're making our own embellishment for our card today, and they're ready to go. Okay, next we have some um, pattern paper. Now, this strip here is a half inch strip, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use my tape runner and adhere it to the lower portion of my polka dot pattern paper. Now that size is a one and a half inch strip. And as I got to adhere it, I ran out of tape. So I need to grab a refill real fast. And we're just gonna do a, that's the nice thing about this tape runner is that you just drop it in and go. Last a long time too, guys. Okay, we're gonna adhere again our pattern paper strip, which is a multi-pattern strip. Um, and I try to get extra colors in here and we're gonna adhere it to the lower portion of our polka dot panel. 
and you can see that red in the strip that we added um, coordinates with the the brad that's in my flower there okay I'm going to add adhesive behind this strip and place this towards the bottom of our uh, teal colored panel now the teal color teal colored panel is the same cards or pattern paper that we use for our flower and it measures three and a half inches wide by four and three quarter inches tall okay next I'm going to adhere a little bit of glue behind my scallop border here and we're going to add this to the left of our panel leaving about a quarter of an inch from the edge and just making sure it's centered that's the nice thing about glue is you can center it. it gives you a little wiggle room the excess that's overhanging I'm going to use my scissors and trim off and so I think this is our background this wasn't on the sketch but I like to add my own little twist and I think the scallop or uh, border just adds a little extra detail okay we're going to flip this over you have foam tape or foam squares I'm going to use fun foam to pop this panel up and we're going to um, the fun foam that I use is adhesive back so I add tape behind one side and then I can remove the adhesive from the other side and place it on my card base which is a standard A2 size card base it's top folding and I'm going to place this in the center now as I got to do this I thought you know what um, the sketch has rounded edges on the very bottom and so I'm going to bring in my corner rounder and carefully peel back the fun foam that I added and um, we're going to try and round these corners now I do have a corner chomper this would be probably the quarter inch corner chomper but mine's really dull um, I've had it for a long time I think I need to replace it so um, I have my fun stampers journey corner rounder and then it works perfectly I don't even I can um, my card base is heavy duty and I can keep it folded and corner round and it corner rounds real nice so loving this little thing okay so our corners just on the bottom are rounded I'm going to add my panel to the center I think that looks great next we're going to add our flowers kind of spread them out a little bit um, since my teal flower matches my pattern paper I wanted to make sure that that was on my polka dot pattern and then we'll add the yellow above and then our gray it's like a, a slate almost color gray on some um, white gray and white I would say pattern so my flowers are adhered now we need a sentiment now I went through my my stash and I when I got my brads I actually found these brads that say thank you and they have the same silver border around there I thought this might be pretty on there but um, I decided not to use the brads that say thank you and I decided to use a sticker I have the sticker it's a label sticker set and this has been mustache a while too guys that this one is from my mind's eye I think it's the mint julep uh, collection but I'm going to use the tag in here and I thought this would be good because if you guys have a tag die or even if you don't it's easy to create a tag in fact I'm going to shorten this one um, this is a real thick sticker I'm just going to shorten it a little bit and it doesn't have a circle for a tag so um, I'm going to bring in um, some little itty mitty mini um, paper clips I don't know I, I think I might have a thing for the smaller paper clips <laughs> I tell you because I have lots of them um, in the sticker set there's also a sticker that says um, life is an adventure and I love the color I wanted to bring in a little bit more of the red that is in my border here so I'm going to actually use that sticker and stick it to the top portion thought about tucking it under and I, I wasn't sure about that but I think we're gonna go ahead and adhere it we're gonna butt it up right against the edge of our scallop on the top areas so we're gonna scoot it up just a little bit and I think that just pulls some more of the um, the red and the pinks out from the flowers and I was happy and it kind of goes with the tag too because the tag says enjoy the journey okay before we add adhesive behind our tag um, I'm going to bring in again my little paper clips now I picked these up these are um, I didn't have any silver I have um, I know doodlebug has some smaller paper clips but I found these um, at Spellbinder shop and these are from Fun Stamper's Journey they're just small silver 
paper clips and there's a ton in here guys but I'm just gonna grab one add it to the very top of my tag kind of place it a little wonky and leaving it um, sticking out just a little bit that way I can thread my um, my twine through it and tie a bow this is the great thing about stickers and fun foam or at least adhesive back fun foam is um, I trim down some and the reverse side of the adhesive um, part all you do is stick it to your sticker and it creates your own little um, dimensional sticker which is really nice okay here's my twine it's just regular white twine I'm gonna loop it at one end and kind of tuck it through the top of my paper clip and it's secured now with that fun foam which is really nice I'm gonna loop it over we're gonna tie a bow just a small bow and then we're gonna go ahead and just trim the tails and that is my card for today pretty easy card I didn't want to add no sparkle or anything I thought the brads were kind of um, perfect and then also the little paper clip but um, this is card number seven of my DSP paper play series guys um, if you're interested in any of the products that I can find check them out below but again since this is um, basically I'm using older stuff for my stash sometimes it's hard to link but have a great day thanks for joining me we will see you again real soon bye bye <music>